So here it is then, the Raspberry Pi, the credit card size computer that's taken the world by storm. Uh, it's designed to increase the interest for the younger generation in computer sciences so that they learn a little bit more about the programming and the hardware configuration. Hi, we're going to show you how to build or put together a Raspberry Pi. Now, we're doing this for kids, so what we need are two things. Just hang on a minute, I'll go and get them. Okay, two things. First thing, a Raspberry Pi. And an eight-year-old kid. First, we need a keyboard. We need an ethernet cable for the internet. We need a lead for the TV. And what sort of lead is that, little boy? A HDMI. Well done. Thanks. Here's an HDMI lead and this is what the plug looks like at the end. We need a charger for the power. Thank you. Here's the power and you can see the micro USB plug at the end. What are we missing? Um, uh, Oh, that's it, TV. Here's what I prepared earlier. Ah. Now the internet cable. We've already put the card in. We'll show you how to prepare the card later. Now we need the HDMI lead. So you put the one side in the TV and then you put the other in the Raspberry Pi. Now the charger. Here's a fact, always put the charger in last. And when you put the charger in the lights should come on. Now you need to put the TV on. And you need to change the um, source to HDMI2. We add no signal to the TV, so we're redoing the power. And hopefully it will come on. Wait for the right tint to stop and then at the bottom you will see Raspberry, raspberry Pi login. So for the login it's PI and then enter. For the password it's Raspberry. And you wait for the right tint to go again. And then you type in start X. No spaces. Enter. And cut. When you finish playing around with it, you go down into this red turn off and you click it and you click lock out. And then when it stops the writing, you type in sudo halt. And enter and it should all close down.